Hey guys, T Dado here, bringing you an updated room tour for the year of 2020. Now it's been uh, six years since I've done a uh, room tour video, um, but uh, you know, I feel like it's time to, to show you guys what room looks like after six years. So um, you know, let's just cut to the chase. So uh, in front of the room, there's Darius from the video game League of Legends, uh, straight Duncan. Um, that's his ultimate, not really, but you know, that's his, uh, that's kind of one of the crazy, or the fun motives of this character. I've been playing League of Legends for nine years, so if you know who Darius is, then, you know, big ups to you. So, uh, yeah, that's Darius from League of Legends. So here's what's behind the front door of my, or the bedroom door, I mean. Um, so I have Maki, Ellie, Hotori, uh, Umi, Nozomi, Lin, Nico, Honkers, Hanyo. These are the original Love Live Idols muses themselves. I got these all individual, individually packed uh, when I received them, so I had to kind of stitch them up together, line them up, make them look nice. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool design. You know, and, and stuck, this, you know, it's stuck for the past few years, so I don't really have to complain or have any complaints about it. It's beautiful, you know, Maki best girl. I've always been best girl, so, you know, don't at me. Uh, next we have Infinite Stratos. Uh, I have I got like a box of mini posters from these uh, from this particular I guess lineup. So Charlotte, you know Shaoling, Xiao Ying, whatever her name is, Laura. And, you know got some more stuff over here. Charlotte, Hoki, uh, forgot her name, blue haired girl. Uh, and then there's some more stuff here. So yes, yeah, litter across my room. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for the Infinite Stratos wallpapers or mini wallpapers. Right here we have, this is the same since last time that I remember, uh, same spot and everything. So this is uh, Mizude Mocha from Rosario Vampire, a pretty awesome manga series. Uh, you should read it instead of watch it. I was introduced through these girls, or to these girls through the anime, but you know, I, I heard that the manga experience is a lot better than the anime experience. So please read the manga. It's, it gets really, really intense and gets really good. So yeah, Rosario plus Vampire. We have it. Right here, uh, of course, camera tripod. This is where I do all the figure reviews that you see in my channel. Uh, right now, of course, it's littered with uh, stuff because I haven't really been making videos on YouTube for a while ever since the pandemic started. Uh, so, um, you know, uh, I've just used it as a way to put stuff on there because I'm lazy. Uh, so we have the Knuckle Pilot Collector's Edition. You only get this if you pre-order it from Kickstarter. Not pre-order it. Uh, if you back the the Kickstarter campaign for the anime. So if you if you if you back the anime, you get this like cool limited edition Knuckle Pilot black box. You know, it comes with whatever is in there, art book and the Blu-ray or whatever. And then this is the latest Fate style game. Got it for like thirty bucks. It was on sale. So I have the other game too, which is really fun. It's like it's pretty much Dynasty Wars with fake characters. Uh, here we have um, the Karate Kid uh, signed or Blu-ray signed by Ralph Macchio, who plays Daniel Russo in the uh, Karate Kid series, and signed by William Zakba or Billy Zakba, who plays Johnny Lawrence in the uh, also Karate Kid series. Right now, uh, Karate Kid no, not Karate Kid Cobra Kai comes out in January. Season three of Cobra Kai comes out in January, so I'm very very excited for season three. Cobra Kai, Karate Kid franchise, one of my favorite series, uh, you know, like of all time because it's just very good. Cobra Kai does such a good job with, you know, respecting the lore, you know, respecting the source material and building upon it instead of ruining it like, you know, Star Wars or something like that. So, very good series. I recommend you guys watch it. Cobra Kai, Karate Kid. The Flash. Season one. Okay, so I got this signed by uh, Candace Payton, who plays Iris West, and also Danielle Panabaker, who plays Caitlin Snow. Um, it's inside the case, so I don't like taking it out right now. So, you know, it's uh, pretty cool. Season one's still the best of the Flash, in my opinion. Next up, we got uh, Ruby. This is the like uh, like volumes one to three special edition Blu-ray. Whatever, whatever it's called, um, I got assigned by all four of the main girls. So there's Lindsay, there's Barbara, uh, I don't remember her name, Wyatt, then Blake. I don't remember the actress's name, sorry. But yeah, pretty cool. Got them signed last year. And then we got some random books and games down here. Uh, this is a postcard you get from Anime Expo 2019. Uh, only exclusive to those who got the uh, Shikishi board. 
I got this recently for 30 bucks. It's on sale. Uh, Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl. This is the movie sequel to the uh, Rascal Does Not Dream of a Bunny Girl series. Fantastic movie. Made me cry. Uh, I love this series. Probably one of my favorite anime series in recent memory. Uh, of course, the Yakuza, the Yakuza collection. So Yakuza 3 to Yakuza 5. Uh, this is uh, G Field, which is like an esports drink. It's kind of marketed as like something that keeps you focused when you're playing video games. I kind of got this for the shits and giggles. Um, this is Fate State Night on the Blade Works Collector's Edition, or the complete edition. I mean, of the entire series. Um, you know, my favorite Fate route by far. I've seen I've seen all three routes, or you know, I know of all three routes, but this is my favorite route of all time. Persona 5 Rose 2 book, Kingdom Hearts 3 Collector's Edition, uh, Indivisible, pretty good game. I have this on Steam, but I also have it for PS4 Collector's Edition, and Final Fantasy 7 Remake, probably one of the best games for PS4 right now. You need to play this game. Final Fantasy 7 Remake, such an amazing, amazing game. And that's part one, by the way. They're making part two and part three soon, .tm. So, um, let's see the top. Uh, not really much up top, just, you know, some random boxes, Nintendo Switch box. There's uh, the Neko Pata girls, uh, so Choka, Vanilla, Coconut, you know, Oski, uh, Maple, Cinnamon, etc, etc, the sister. Yeah, so um, I'll, I'll let me back out and show you guys uh, this particular setup that I have. So I have three Detolves standing on a bookcase. Uh, the, uh, everything that I got from here was from Ikea. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. I'm pretty sure the Detolves they still sell, but not the bookcase, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, you know, one day I decided just to get a bookcase to kind of level up or elevate these uh, details so they can look a little bit cooler, I guess you can say, or a little bit more leveled because uh, the ground of my room is kind of unleveled. So some of the details, if you leave them on the floor, they're kind of they're kind of uneven. So, you know, this is for for display purposes, I guess you can say. All right. So let's see what's inside. First shelf, Asuna Yuki. Need, need to say more. No, I don't have to say anything anymore. Practically the same from last time for the last room tour video, except uh, this is probably a new addition right here. We got Asuna Yuki, the tapestry in the back. Down here we got Muv Love. Kriska Yui. Kriska Yui, I don't remember her name. Ivana something. They're Russian. I don't remember her name. I'm sorry, guys. I, I will not remember a lot of these characters' names. I, 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 I'm probably going to warn you because it's been a long time since I've seen most of these animes. Like, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a long time. I've been collected for a long time. Since 2012? No, 2013, 2014. So it's been a long time. All right. Um, you know, you got Toka, you got Kurimi, you got the Lolly. I think it's not her name. Yukino. So, be alive. And then we got some random figures down here. Yui. Uh, girl from Dangan Rumpa 2. And then I got Urza Scarlet. I know, random Urza figure there, right? So next detail. This particular section, I tried to do the birthday figure uh, line up for Muses Love Life, but I just didn't have enough room. And plus I got lazy. Uh, so they're kind of just like an idol theme type of thing. You see the Asuna idol figure here. Uh, very dusty. Of course, I haven't really been dusting. Uh, I'm really busy these days. I go to work quite a lot. So, you know, that's what happens when you grow up, guys. <laughs> um, next section, we have Muses. Again, Love Live. Uh, these are like the uh, three in the back from Kotsubukiya. Alter, Alter, Alter. Um, so, you no, know, very, very awesome figures, I must say. Um, you know, I wish I, I, I still I, I'm pretty sure I have the complete lineup for for all the Ultra uh, Love Life girls. I just don't have the room to display them, at least not in this section. So maybe when maybe when I move into a bigger place. So you know, we'll see. Of course, down here, Idol Master Cinderella girls. So um, uh, one, two, three from Cinderella girls. So Mio Honda, uh, Lin. And Lynn, and I don't remember her name. Honmura, I don't remember her name. Then it's Mika. So, uh, I, kind of an idol master thing going on. And then let's move down here. Same thing, more idol master. You got the Lanko Princess Celebration type of figure, anniversary, whatever it's called. And then I don't remember the girl, the blonde girl's name. I think it was like Mio or something. I might be wrong. I'm wrong, it's the private night. It's like Nico or something. I don't know. I don't remember her name. 
All right, next detolf. So we have uh, Cordelia from Fire Emblem or Tiamo for the Japanese audience. Uh, in the West, we call it Cordelia, but you know, if you played her, if you play the game in Japanese dub, it's uh, or Japanese original Japanese audio. I'm sorry, not dub. Uh, it's Tiamo, and then there's uh, Tosuka Rin. And then there's uh, uh, Shiki, Hidogi Shiki from the Garden of Sinners, Kano no Kyokai. Uh, probably one of the coolest figures I have right there. This this Cordelia figure is pretty dope too, so, you know, for those uh, Japanese original uh, audio, uh, you know, Tiamo, Tiamo. Moving down, so, um, I kind of had like a little theme going on here, uh, like the beach versions of these characters. Uh, so this is um, Satellizer from Freezing. Saber, I'm not sure which Saber from, um, you know, Fate. Then there's Kirino from uh, Oreimo. We got uh, Chitoke in the back. Then we got uh, Matoi. And then over here is Onodera. So this figure moved back because uh, sometimes I move this bookcase to access this room right here. Um, this room has the electrical panel and like the internet. Uh, connections and random stuff in here. It's like really dark and has spider webs in there. You don't want to go in there. It's very dirty. Moving down. Um, Manima, Anohana, Shiro, No Game, No Life. And of course, Chitoge again. Um, this is probably the best Shiro figure that's been ever produced. Um, very hot figure on my figure collection. Um, those Chitoge figures are really cool too. Alright, moving down. Sorry guys. What do we have here? So this this particular figure is from Odin Spear. I don't remember her name. It's a bunny Cordelius. Uh, it's Amelia, of course, best girl from ReZero. I'll fight you for that. Uh, don't remember her name. Guilty Crown. Guilty Crown in the back as well. And then we got Kriska and Santa Santa hat, Santa bikini type of thing going on. So uh, yeah, I don't I don't like crotching, so sorry guys. <laughs> uh, particularly not for that. Um, at the bottom, I got like. Random SH figure arts, so mostly Sailor Moon. You have this random Power Ranger one. Uh, Sailor Moon, got some League of Legends, Star Guardian stuff. That particular case, I have like my Switch and all my Switch games in there. Uh, League of Legends, the empty boxes and stuff, so nothing very particular. I haven't really opened these yet. I'm saving these for like a particular display or something. Alright, moving on. Right here, all my badges. Um, you know, from, you know, in the past few years, pre-pandemic. So, you know, uh, Anime Expo, Otakon, KatsuCon, Otaku Fest, New York Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con. You know, whatever cons I go to, all the badges are right there. Um, you know, it's, it's like six years worth of badges right there. So, you know, have your pick. <laughs> I got right here, I have this uh, little ghetto set up right here. Uh, I'm not sure why I have this like that I guess because I just I, I, I don't know it's cool I don't know I guess my video capture card you know I usually capture stuff and post it on my gaming channel uh, I have a gaming channel by the way uh, you can check it out by one if you want um, vitamins you know you need your vitamins you know vitamins a day and uh, here we have my uh, PS4 collection or half of, or most of it I guess uh, this is a Faku um, lanyard that you get from uh, visiting their booth so whatever booth they go to anime expo or otakon or whatever whatever con they go to uh you can get a free lanyard from them and i'll show you guys quickly the games so kingdom hearts kingdom hearts last of us gravity rush okami crash uncharted 4 charted bloodborne detroit you know all the good games resident evil i'm a huge resident evil fan by the way oh resident evil 2 yes 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 so Fun story about this one. Um, I met the voice actress for Claire Redfield and Ada Wong, um, but uh, I got her to sign this particular case um, at Anime Expo last year. I met her twice. I met her at Anime Expo and at Otakon last year. So I also have a, a wall poster that I framed, that I signed, but I put it in the living room, so it's not really my room. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie Panacello, shout out to her. She's very cute. A uh, very awesome Claire Redfield. I hope they bring her back for future projects. So, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So that's it for that part. Now I'll sit down and I'll show you guys uh, my little sitting area. Uh, so this is where I sit to play my console games. 
We got the Switch dock there. We got my PS4 there. Of course, all covered in dust because I don't really clean. I just go to work, come home, and I chill. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> um, this is not sponsorship, by the way. I'm not sponsored by them. They, they, they're just really good. Um, so here I got some more PS4 games. Uh, this is Final Fantasy XII, uh, Yakuza, Kiwami, World of, World of Final Fantasy, Shadow of Tomb Raider, Yakuza, Kiwami 2, or Kiwami 1, and then there's... Um, which we call it Final Fantasy 15. So, yeah. My old dusty iPod that I barely use anymore. And, uh, oh, this Alita Battle Angel 4K edition. Very great uh, adaptation of the original manga. Um, you know, if you don't, if, if, if the CGI doesn't turn you off, it's a pretty good film. Um, so I recommend you watch it. Over here, Sport controller, Nintendo Switch controller. I got the Xbox One controller for if I want to play my PC games or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, here's my setup. So, uh, Hafumi from Persona 5. Top three waifus, not my top waifu. My top waifu is on Takamaki, and she's best girl, and I'll fight you for it. Don't don't at me. But, uh, you know, I really like this wallpaper, so I decided to use it as my second modder. And then, uh, we got best girl from Fate Stay Night, uh, Tosuka Lin. Lin Tosuka. Uh, yeah. No, there's nothing else to say except she's the best girl. You can see my little mouse moving. Let's see. Oh, sweet, Hajima. Look at her, she's so cute. Bye bye, Bye bye. Alright. So, recently I've been, um, I've been, uh, down a rabbit hole, as you can see, for my tabs. Uh, yeah, I'm in the rabbit hole. I can't get out, Pecco. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, so it all started in September when Hollow Live uh, English debuted. And then, um, you know, I got curious because I was watching Trash Taste. It's, a, it's an anime podcast. It has uh, the anime man, uh, Gigok, and um, C Dog VA. Uh, they were talking about uh, VTubers, and I got, like, super interested in what they were talking about. I was like, all right, I'll check out this uh, Hollow Live EN debut, and I checked it out, and I was like, oh shit, this is actually pretty good. Uh, this is, I mean, VTubers are the reason why I don't watch anime as much anymore. I guess you can say uh, it's like it's like they're fucking anime itself. It, like, like VTubers are like anime themselves. Like, you, you, like I can't explain it. Like, my my feed is just filled with Hollow Live now, so. There's VTuber here, VTuber here. There's a reminder for when uh, an event coming. Of course, Power Rangers. I really like Power Rangers. Final Fantasy, you know. It's 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 a rabbit hole I can't dig out of. Um, and you can see my subscriptions. <laughs> They're all Hollow Live characters. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in a rabbit hole. So, um, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm in a rabbit hole, Pecco. All right, moving on. Right over here, we have uh, one of my most prized possessions. Um, I guess uh, prized possessions or one of my yeah, that's the prized possession. Let's leave it at that. Uh, so these two are commissions or drawn commissions from uh, Anime Expo 2017. Uh, as you can see, uh, well, yeah, 2017 Anime Expo Alice in Destiny. So these two characters are from the video game series Fault Milestone. Uh, it's a visual novel series. I know some of you might think of Fault the Hentai series, but no. Um, this is a, a sci-fi, like uh, sci-fi fantasy type of visual novel. It has like three games out right now, or is it two? Two games out right now? No, I don't. I don't remember exactly. Two or three games out right now. Uh, you know, these things cost me uh, a lot of money. I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent on these, but it was a lot of money. So we got. The two main characters, two out of three main characters from the series, we got Retona, and then we have uh, Seraphine. Or Selfine. Selfine, I'm sorry, not Seraphine. <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, League of Legends. Self, uh, Selfine, or Selfine, I already pronounce your name. Uh, these are two of the three main characters from the series. Very, very amazing series. I highly recommend you play it on Steam. It's not on Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One. You know, go check it out. Fault Milestone. Uh, just my Fault Milestone 1, 1 and Fault Milestone 2. Only two games out so far, so please check it out. Um, there's supposed this is supposed to be the third game right here. 
Uh, it was supposed to be a prequel. Uh, this is fault science dependent. Uh, you can tell there's a character names right here. It's Ratona, Selfine, you know, Flora, etc., etc., etc. This was supposed to come out years ago, but um, there's some stuff that happened behind the scenes, and um, you know, unfortunately, they couldn't push out this game in time. So it's been uh, it's been a limbo for a long time. Uh, and they just announced that they're releasing a sequel to Fault uh, Milestone 2. So, like, I don't know. I don't know, like, the whole deal behind this prequel. Like, it's in limbo right now, so we'll see. We'll see. Alright, moving on. We have uh, Fairy Tale Wall Scroll. Now, this is, like, one of the central things. That you, this is, like, one of the first things you see when you come to my room. And this is the same, the same wall scroll that I have from 2014. I have not removed it. I've not touched it. You know, Fairy Tale holds a special place in my heart. It's not the best anime of all time, of course, but you know, like I've said in past videos, Fairy Tale was there at a time when you know I I was feeling down. You know, I didn't have friends. Uh, you know, I just it just felt like a great anime to connect to. You know. Fairy Tale as a whole felt like a group of friends, and that's why I really enjoyed it. Even though the anime has a lot of issues, like you know, repetitiveness, too much fan service, you know, the story doesn't make sense, you know, power, friendship, all that shit. But you know, it's still at the core of it. I still love the characters. I love the concept of the guild, I like the magic and stuff. So, you know, Fairy Tale still holds a very special place in my heart. You know, it's not the best anime of all time, but. Still, still really good, you know, you know, it's good for me for different reasons, you know, people, people will like it, you know, different anime for different reasons, so, you know, don't let people dictate your, your tastes. Uh, so, moving, to, moving on, up here we have, uh, this Adohana letter merchandise that I framed, uh, let me move to a different angle so you don't see that freaking palm tree. I got it from Vietnam, that's why I kind of just leave it there, my friend gave it to me. Um, but uh, for this particular one, I won it in a raffle. So when I went to go watch the Adohana movie, they were giving out ra uh, raffle tickets to see who would win the letters from Menma. These are mass produced or manufactured. It's not really anything special, but you know, still they were giving away a limited amount that day. Like they were giving away like, I think 10, 10 of them. I don't remember exactly, but you know, I was one of the lucky ones that got it. Uh, and at that point, I was like, holy shit, I've never won a raffle in my life. So it was it was like a very good memory. Very awesome memory. And then we watched the movie and I cried like a bitch. So there you go. Um, it comes with the letters from, uh, from to address to each of the members of the cast, uh, the characters. And then it has, you know, the little pink envelope. It comes with a skeezy board signed by the director and the producers of the movie and then it comes with like a little small seed that you can actually plant and grow uh so yeah but i i kind of just framed it so yeah okay top love we got chie from persona 4. uh we have uh lucy happy and uh natsu and this is urza scarlet you can't really see it because it's on the side and then on the back you have um Witchcraft works one of one of like one of the an underrated series uh, when it first came out. It was really really good I really enjoyed it for the animation. It was really fucking good so Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 Damn, I'm getting tired of talking <laughs> But uh, let's move on. Let's move on. So This particular uh, display case hasn't really changed much ever since I uh, showed it last time Maybe if I added a few things here and there, but it's um, so on the top shelf I have uh, Kind of, kind of like a DC heroine villain type of theme going on. Um, so these, this is the Bashojo line from Kotobukiya. Uh, so we have Zatanna on the left, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn. Back left, you see uh, Huntress. Behind Wonder Woman, you see Batgirl in her dark suit version, and then you have uh, Catwoman over there to the bottom or back right. Uh, fun fact: uh, Batgirl was the first figure I've ever owned. So, um, shout outs to Batgirl, first figure I've ever, ever owned. Um, moving down, we have kind of like a Marvel Bishojo type of thing, but then I kind of fucked it up by adding these random uh, figures to it. But, uh, you know, let's continue with this Kitty Pride, uh, Shadow Cat, Emma Frost, Black Widow, Psylocke, Jubilee, uh, what's her name? Asuka, Asuka from Tekken. And then there's, uh, this is an original character. I think her name's Lucy or something from Ghostbusters. And this is Yui, or Yudi. 
Yudi, I think. Yui or Yudi, one of those names from Angel Beats, the better the better female lead. I didn't like Kaede that much, her, to be honest with you, so I think she was the better female lead. <sighs> so I'm gonna sit down for the rest of this, and I'll show you guys the rest. So for this shelf, just randomness, you can see my forehead, shiny ass forehead. Uh, here is uh, Senju Kohoda, right and left, um, both by Kotobukiya. This one's probably the best. This one and the Good Small Company one um, are probably the best Sentigo horror figures out there. I want to get the Good Small Company one, but that one's going for money. Uh, so, yeah, maybe someday. And then this is Yamoto, don't remember her name, from uh, uh, also the Motogatari series. Then you got Psycho from High School of the Dead, one of the one of the only good figures out there on the market, I believe. And this is the most. I want to say the most expensive figure I own is Mizuday, right here in the back. Uh, right now, she's going for like a thousand bucks on eBay because she's like super rare for some reason. Like, I don't know why she's so expensive. I guess because they, did, they didn't really like mass produce her as much, but she's really expensive. Like, she's going for like thousands of dollars on eBay. So, when I bought her, she wasn't that much. Um, so, luckily, I mean, she was still expensive, but she wasn't like a thousand dollars. So, uh, yeah, probably the most expensive figure I own is today. And then next, we have Shinobu. Again, from Monogatari series. I'm not really a huge fan of her, but I like this particular figure because everyone has it. One, everyone in the figure community has it, and two, it's cute as shit. I give it to her, it's cute. No, I'm not really a big Shinobu fan, but still, very cute. Moving down, I tried to make this a fairy tale section, but uh, as you can see, we have a random ass Levi here. So, <laughs> that, uh, that didn't work out. Uh, on the back left, we have Urza, Scarlet, and Lucy, Hardophilia. Uh These two figures in the back particularly uh, were my first figure review video on my channel. Like these, these also were the first figures I've ever reviewed on my YouTube channel. So, you know, um, these two, those two figures hold a lot of history for me. And then the back right, uh, I guess you can say Urza, Scarlet. This particular Urza, Scarlet was most one of the most controversial for me because people didn't really understand that I was like kind of kind of kind of you know playing heavily into the horny fanboy type of character I mean at the time I, I don't care I didn't care and to this day I still don't care people call me like a weirdo or, or like a you know horny geek or a weirdo on on, on my YouTube comments you know it's, it's, that that video was like six years old like I was playing the character and I was having fun making that video so I don't give a fuck what they think you know what I mean it's it's Urza is sexy, you know, she, she, she's a badass. What else more What else more can I say? You know what I mean? <laughs> There's nothing else. There's nothing else to, you know, nothing else to debate about. Moving on, we have the Good Small Company lineup from uh, Fairy Tale. So, Lucy, Natsu, my most figure, my most watched figure video is Natsu, and then there's Grey Full Buster. Um, I'm sad that Good Smile Company didn't complete the lineup. They did have a draft for Urza Scarlet, but they never completed it for some reason. They have a pop-up parade version of her coming out, um, which isn't bad per se, but I would have preferred if they finished this original lineup uh, of fairy tale figures, um, but they didn't, and I'm pretty sad. But, um, you know, no, I mean, we'll see how the pop-up parade works when it comes. All right. Another Urza Scarlet battle version. Um, this one's pretty cool. Then we have Levi from Attack on Titan. This is part of one of my most watched videos as well. Um, you know, Attack on Titan season four, the finale is out right now, so I haven't caught up to it. But you know, watch it if you can. Uh, you know, it's 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 the finale. You gotta watch it, right? Attack on Titan, one of the most hype anime shows of all time. All right, moving on. This one's kind of random section. Didn't really have a theme going on. So we have three characters from Duda, the bartender, you got Salty, you got uh, Izukaya, I don't remember his name. Ikaya, Izaya, Izukaya, I don't remember his name. Um, Lucy Harfi again, I think this is from, I don't remember exactly which company that's from, but it's not from Good Smile Company. Um, in the back we have the classic original Yu Yu Hakusho gang. We got Yusuke, of course. Uh, Korobora, which is actually very hard to get now, I think. Korobora is pretty hard to get now. And then we got Akutama, and then we have PA in the back. Yu Hakusho, man, a classic. One of my favorite animes of all time. Very, like, 
You know, if someone asked me Yu Yu Hakusho or Dragon Ball Z, I'll easily say Yu Yu Hakusho. I wasn't really a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z. I mean, I watched it, but you know, now as an adult, I don't really like Dragon Ball Z as much as I did when I was a kid. Yu Yu Hakusho was better, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. All right, moving on. Got the soldier game unit here. We got uh, there's Umi, there's Maki, and there's uh, Ellie. Now these three, I really wanted them to become an official unit, but they only had like two songs before uh, Muse was disbanded, which is really sad in my opinion because I believe like these three are like the best out of their grade levels, right? So uh, Umi was in uh, the second year of high school, which was probably the best out of them. Although Hon Honkers is a, be a better singer, I still think Umi was better overall. <laughs> Actually, let me rephrase this. All three of these girls were my favorite from each year. So Umi was my favorite from second year, Maki is my, my favorite from first year, and then Ellie is my favorite from third year. Yeah, that's that, that's a better way to phrase it. I, I, let's not compare them talent-wise, because they're all talented in their own ways. But yeah, Soldier Game, you know, should have been an official unit. I, I'd much rather prefer them than... Um, what is it, BB? BB, they had Ellie, Maki, and Nico. Um, they should they should have just you know made Soldier Game a, uh, a unit. You know, luckily they didn't mess up in Aquas. In Aquas, they have um, Guilty Kiss. So Guilty Kiss to me is Soldier Game 2.0. Like that's the correct way. Like they they made that 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 sub unit is 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 dang. All right, that sub unit is great. I think. Like, I'd rather listen to Guilty Kiss than Aquas, to be honest with you, which is kind of sad, but, you know, Aquas, Aqua fans might be raging at me, but, you know, I'd rather listen to Guilty Kiss than Aquas. Uh, I haven't really been following Love Live in a long time now. I've only known, I only know what music is at Unions, uh, Guilty Kiss, etc., etc. So, you know, Guilty Kiss, they didn't write, uh, has Rico, uh, Yohane, Yoshi, and, um, Mari, blonde hair girl, so, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Aquas, Aquas. Uh, go to kiss, I mean. All right, moving on. Uh, we got Miyuki from Mahoka. Because uh, Persona 4 animation, but really I got it because of Golden. I played Persona 4 Golden on the PlayStation Vita. It's out on Steam now, by the way. Uh, if you have like a PC, I highly, highly recommend you play it on Steam. It's Persona 4 was great. Persona 4 Golden. Fantastic JRPG, one of my favorite JRPGs of all time, you know. It was the first Persona game I played, uh, and you know, ever since then I've been a huge Persona fan. So, Persona 4 Golden, Persona 3, uh, for the PS Vita, not PS Vita, for PSP, and then, uh, you know, Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal, etc, etc. Alright, moving on. Let's go to this area. Let's sit down for a bit. Yosha, alright, alright, alright. So, the story with this closet, the closet is kind of broken. Um, you can kind of see that closet's kind of sticking out. It's broken. It's a really, 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 like, I guess cheap closet. Uh, this entire room was kind of made new when I first bought this house. So, yeah, this closet was new too, but it's kind of a piece of shit, as you can see. Um, it's busted. But before uh, the closet got busted, I had these two wallpapers, or wall, wall, yeah, wallpapers on display. So we have the Mahoka series, Irregular High School, um, and then we have uh, Kirito and Asuna. You can't really see Kirito, or uh, I mean, you see Asuna, you can't really see Kirito. Uh, but, you know, how unfortunate. Um, this, this, uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's busted, so can't really do anything about it. All right, moving on. We got the uh, Bake Monogatari, uh, or Monogatari uh, wall, scroll that everyone in the figure community has uh back then you know when i was in uh the figure gathering community and uh i'll talk corner or whatever anime groups that were going on back then you know we all have this particular wall scroll so this this is like famous i guess you can say famous and then below i have uh some face day night unlimited blade works wall wallpaper um ish type of thing Still my favorite uh, route or route of uh, fate. I much prefer uh, Unlimited Blade Works over the Dark Heavens Theo and the weird uh, Saber route or the Fate route, I guess. I mean, I, 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 I haven't really played the visual novels, so I can't really say much about the Fate route, but the uh, Unlimited Blade Works one's my favorite because, you know, Toast Skeleton's the best girl, so. <laughs> That's pretty much my argument. <laughs> Alright, moving on. 
Uh, got some bunch of random stuff here. Um, you know, some autographed uh, Blu-rays. Kajua Meisama, one of my favorite shoujo series of all time. Um, we got the Nendroids for Chitoke, Onodera, and um, Tsunami. I don't remember her name, Tsunami. It starts with a T, you guys. The Tomboy girl. Then uh, a bunch of comic books here that I either read once or twice, or, you know, I just have for the fuck of it. And then moving down, I have um, I have some more shoujo series. It's my favorite one of all time, actually. Number one shoujo series, Kimini Todoke, for me to you. Um, you know, whenever whenever I'm feeling down or whenever I need some diabetes, I read Kiwi Todoke, so very great series. I haven't finished it yet, you know, even though I have all 30 volumes, I still haven't finished it yet. I think I'm on volume like 11 or 12 or something like that. I want to buy the Blu-rays, but they're very expensive. They're going for like 200 bucks or something right now. Moving down, I got some random manga, Food Wars, Orin High School, um, Akami Got Killed. Devil is a part timer, there's a reserve vampire, terraformers. Um, I'm gonna cover this part because I'm not sure what's down here. It's not safe for work. I'm pretty sure it's not safe for work. Yeah, there's a bunch of hentai down there, so I can't really show you guys. Um, can you see it? Oh. Whew, I have to censor it. <laughs> I'll censor it later. Um, but yeah, uh, it's uh, not safe for work stuff. Can't really, yeah, I'm, not, uh, I'm not really supposed to show you guys that. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, here we got a bunch of dunk posters, Jarvan 4, Master Yi, there's just Vi, and then, uh, well, there's Jace. Uh, yeah, League of Legends, more League of Legends stuff. Uh, here's G-Friend. Uh, G-Friend, 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 j, -Friend, j, -Friend, j, -Friend, j, -Friend, j -Friend. Uh, so G-Friend's a K-pop group, Korean pop group, South Korean K-pop group, uh, six girls. Um, these girls, one of my favorite bands of all time, uh, sing and dance very well. Uh, as you can see, they're all very cute. Jung Yen and my ideal, my ideal girl. Uh, yeah, and then you can see some random figures in my headboard, dusty as fuck. Uh, I know, I know, it's super dusty. I'm a dirty, dirty dude. I don't, I don't really dust or anything like that. Then of course you've seen that from my past uh, room tour video, JYJ. You know, three members of uh, one of the greatest band of all time, T V S Q. So, yep. And then we have uh, these. Wall Scrolls right here. Uh, still the same from last time as well. We got Psycho from Much with the Dead, Sailor Venus from Sailor Moon. Nothing's changed for these. And uh, there's my bed. Got Kuro Sensei in pillow form. Pretty cool. And uh, that's my Asian looking bed. Um, that's my body pillow. Uh, Charlotte from Infinite Shadows. Even though I'm not really a huge fan of uh, Infinite Shadows anymore, you know, Charlotte was my best girl. Uh, and I can't show you that body pillow either because it's not safe for work. <sighs> Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, no, full on degeneracy here, guys. Full on degeneracy. All right, moving on. Got some fan art. Uh, Mikasa, Mikasa from uh, Shingeki no Kyojin. Then you got uh, Nero Fate, uh, Nero Saber, I mean. And uh, back here we got the same uh, framed Harley Quinn Poison Ivy um, uh, pictures that I got from 2014. Still the same from Room Tour. Of course, you can see some figures from on top. Um, I'll just show you guys the top real quick. So, you know, I got the Power Morpher from uh, Power Rangers. This is Tommy's version. So, he has his own special Morpher, the Golden One, and it comes with the Dragon Zord and the Tiger Zord uh, 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 Power Coins. Very expensive, by the way. So, it's a Zeonizer, Power Rangers Zeo. Um, I'm a huge fan of the um, OG Power Rangers, the, the, the Saban era specifically. I uh, don't really care much for the new generations. Even though Hasbro is doing okay with it, I guess, uh, you know. But I like the I like collecting the old stuff of the Power Rangers. This is a this is a Morpher as well, uh, but super dusty. This is the original Morpher. Let's see if I can grab it out. Yeah, Power Morpher, original five. Look at the back, super dusty as fuck. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, got some uh, Mocha. This, I haven't opened this yet. This is a pretty expensive figure too, by the way. Oh my god, that's a gift. And I, uh, I don't have the heart to open this particular box for personal reasons, but, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool gift. Uh, you know, I kind of just leave it in there as a, as a display. Um, this is Minase from Idol Master. Uh, and I have another Idol Master figure back here. Uh, figure it is Makuto, right? Makuto, right? Tomboy girl. Her dojos are pretty spicy. See, Idol Master, I'm not really a fan of, uh, the show itself. I just like the dojo to fucking spicy, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the figures. Oh, no, no, wait, let me finish the top. I, 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 I finish the top. 
So in the back, I have uh, Catherine full body. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I'm a fan of the original game. Get the Fairy Tale Guild Edition, whatever the hell that is, the Collector's Edition. Uh, Yakuza 6. I haven't played this yet because I'm on Yakuza 5 right now. Ghost of Tsushima. Holy moly, fantastic fucking game. You guys need to play it for PS4. Or PS5 if you have a PS5, you know. It's a fantastic game. Probably one of the best looking games I've ever played in my life. Um, God of War. Also a fantastic game, you know, boy. You know, having Kratos is calling you boy from across the screen. Um, <laughs> yeah, God of War Stone Mason Edition. Uh, and then we have Horizon Zero Dawn. This is a surprise hit for me, actually. Like, I didn't have high expectations when I played this game. Like, I, I didn't know what I was expecting, but this game was phenomenal, man. I can't wait for the second game. I can't wait for the second game. All right, moving on. You can kind of see there's a box in the bag. It's Black Canary, Kotobukiya. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, pretty much Dynasty Warriors, but with Fire Emblem skins. Uh, this is Ay Ayase Adaga was it Adagaki? Adagaki from um, Ola Emo. So, special story about this particular figure. Um, so I got this signed in 2014 by a voice actress herself. So her name is Saudi Hayama, or Hayami. A Saudi, Saudi, just call her Saudi because um, I don't want to get her last name wrong. So before she became like super, super busy and super big, she was, she wasn't known for very much parts. Like she had like a, a small part in all the emails. So Saudi-san, um, she like, when I met her, dude, it was like, it was great because I, she was wearing a yukata or a kimono at the time and I told her in Japanese, I was like, oh my God, you're super pretty. And you know, she, she was very, I guess, happy to hear that. And, uh, you know, we talked a little bit and it was great. You know, one of my favorite memories of Saudi uh, before she became super big. So, you know, what does she voice now? She voices Miyuki from Mahoka season two, which is airing right now. Um, uh, she voices, um, what's her face? From Demon Slayer, Kaori, I think her name is, Kaori. The, 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 girl, the girl who specializes in poison, she voices her. She's also in uh, Sarah for the End. Seraph at the end, or Wano Seraph, if you've seen that uh, anime series. She's in Monogatari as well. Uh, you know, those those are some of the anime series I can... Oh! Red Snow White. Red Haired Snow White. Oh, yes, I remember. She's also in that series. She's also in... Um, no, she's in a lot of series now. No, I, I can't. I just can't name them. There's, there's too many series she's in now. She's like she's like super huge now, Saudi. So I'm very happy for her. Very happy that she like. I got. I'm very happy that I got to met her before she became really huge, and I'm happy that she's huge now because she she her voice is very recognizable. Like once you hear her voice, you're like, oh, it's Saudi. I know. I know who. I know exactly who it is. So yeah, shout out to Saudi. Very very cool encounter. One of one of the best say you encounters I've had next to. Um, um, Sabers, uh, say, uh, say you. Alright, moving on. Uh, Shining Sun Star Nova, one of the visual novels that I played on and off. It's about an idol group. It has uh, adult content and then it's rated 18 plus. Same thing, Muff Love. This one came to the West like in recent years. So, um, yeah, Muff Love. Marvel Spider Man, one of the greatest superhero games ever made. You need to play it if you're a superhero fan. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, so you know playing that game was very, very monumental, very, very great experience for me. You know, especially towards the end. Uh, you know, you know, this game is like the best story of Spider-Man out there right now. Main medium, like if you're talking about best Spider-Man stuff right now, Marvel Spider-Man PS4, Spider-Man 2, Tobey Maguire, then Spider-Man you know, Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, whatever you want to call them, MCU Spider-Man, Tom Holland. Um, but yeah, this is this is great. Miles Morales is great as well. I, I just beat it for PS5. Uh, I, I fucking platinumed it, so it's also a great addition to the Spider-Man mythos and Spider-Man game. Next, Near Automata. I haven't finished this game yet. Very long. I've only beaten um, what is it? Two B's campaign. I'm on the other dude. I'm on Nine S's campaign now, and uh, yeah, I don't have time for this. Maybe some other time. Then we have Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition. Uh, they're stacked on top of each other. And I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, by the way. So, yeah. yep. They look identical, right? It's a difference it's just the 2 and the 3. <laughs> and then we have the G-Friend fan stick. It's their first version of it. Their first light stick. 
And then, uh, where do we have here? Sakura, Sakura Saber. I haven't opened this yet either. Super old figure. All right, let's move on to the figures. Okay, here we are. Here's Detolf number one. Uh, Koloneko, Kino. Can't remember her name. Akami Ga Brilliant Park, or no, Amagi Ga Brilliant Park. Uh, to Love Ru, Darkness, I think. Um, yeah, I don't remember their names either. Uh, this is like a Type Moon, Fake State Night, uh, Type Moon mostly type of section. You can see uh, Shiki in the back. You can see uh, the Fake Girls. See uh, Sakura, Saber, Saber, Saber Ultra, I guess, and Saber. Toast got in. And here's Saber Lily. Saber Ultra again. Going down. Now, my holy grail, Tosca Lin. Like I said, my favorite character from Face Day Night. And this is also very, very uh, important to me because I got um, the base signed by the Seiyu of Saber. I don't remember her name exactly. Was it uh, Kasumi or something? I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember her name. It's been a long time. But uh, yeah, she actually did. She yelled out Excalibur at the event, so shout outs to her. Anime Expo 2015, by the way. <clears throat> so moving down, one four scale uh, bunny, bunny, uh, bunny versions of the Infinite Strauss girls. You kind of see it's kind of dusty, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> moving on. So this particular section is supposed to be Persona. We got Mitsuda in the back from Persona 3. Uh, let's see, you know, focus. There we go. Huge figure, by the way. Huge figure. Um, then we have uh, what the hell is her name? Yumiko, Yuki, Yumiko, Yumiko. And then we have Vise. Oh, this is signed by Laura Bailey, by the way. This is, I, I prefer. I usually prefer Japanese sub over over English dub, but Persona 4 Golden has a better English dub than the Japanese cast. I'm sorry. I wanted to like the Japanese cast, but I hate, I hate Risei's voice in Japanese. It's so bad. <sighs> like, Laura Bailey does a good job playing Risei, so I, I, I prefer Persona 4 Golden in English dub. That's the only Persona game that I prefer in English. Persona 5, I prefer in Japanese. Persona 3, don't really have a good opinion, because uh, it, it's not really voiced, but, you know, Persona 5's uh, uh, Japanese cast is superior than the English dubs, but, in Persona 4 Golden is the reverse. The English dub is superior over the Japanese original. So yeah, Laura Bailey. And this particular figure of Chie, she is, I think, broken. So I have to fix her. I think, like, she's not standing properly, so I have to fix her. So, but yeah, it's Chie from Persona 4. Moving down. Uh, we got the uh, three musketeers from Attack on Titan. No, I'm kidding. So Levi, uh... Mikasa and then uh, Eden from Attack on Titan, Shingeki no Kyojin. These three are from Kotobukiya, and then this is Mikasa from uh, Good Smile Company. I have reviewed all four figures on my channel, so check that out if you want to. So, yes, Attack on Titan. All right, moving down, we have uh, Sugaha from Sword Art Online, Shinon from Sword Art Online. <sighs> I don't remember her name. Kyoko, right? It's a Kyoko. Fuck, I don't remember her name. From uh, Danganronpa. And then we have uh, Tharya, or Tharja from uh, Fire Emblem. However you want to pronounce her name, because somebody's going to fucking correct me on it. And then uh, there's Asuna again. This is the super beach version or whatever. It's called the pretty much what you see over there in the tapestry. So, yeah, super long, so I couldn't fit her. <sighs> All right, moving on. More for the Stratos, the one-fourth bunny one, or cat version, I guess, cat version, um, Shaoling, Shaoying, whatever her name is, I don't remember her name, uh, we got the, uh, the girl from Psycho Pass, main girl, and then we got these, uh, particular fairy tale training figures that I spent quite a bit to get, cause, uh, they're very, I won't say rare, but, like, they, they were hard to get together, like, I had to specifically search for them individually, so we got Natsu, Urza, Lucy, Grey, and Wendy. We would now we got Hokey 1 4 scale. This is probably really. She's so big that she couldn't fit down there, so I just kind of gave her own section. And then um, we got. Uh, what, what the hell is her name? Shukankode. I don't remember her name. And then this is from Rare Wars. Oh, Rare, Rare Wars. <laughs> couldn't say the name. 
All right, Saber again, Kotobukiya version, uh, Kaoru or Kaori from uh, she, she got so lucky. We know Uso or your line April. Super, super sad series. I don't, I don't want to think about it. And then uh, you know, best girl from Day to Life. All right, moving on. Kill la kill. We got Sasaki and uh, her sisters or Moto's uh, uh, uniform. Sasaki again in her original uniform. And then we got Mato in the back, looking cool as fuck. All right. Uh, Kaneki Tokyo Ghoul before Tokyo Ghoul went to shit. Um, yeah, looks pretty cool, right? Uh, <laughs> and then we got uh, some more Infinite Shadows, Kaoru or Kaori. I don't remember her name. Kaoru property. Hoki, Charlotte, and then Best Girl, Steins Gate, uh, Makase, Kurisu, or Christina. I have the original version too, but it's the re-release version. So the original version's her in her um, brown coat. So this is the lab coat version. I have the original version boxed up somewhere. And uh, I did review her, by the way. You want to watch it as well. All right, moving down. Uta Senpai from Psycho No. Best girl, probably. Um, voiced by uh, Kino Ai. You know, Kino Ai. Yeah, shout out to her. My, one of my favorite voice actresses. <sighs> Don't remember her name. Toa or Toma. I don't remember her name either. Clan Ed, but I think she's better. She's probably one of the best girls in Clan Ed. Um, don't remember her name. Niku, Niku, Akin, A Akino, and then there's Rias in the back, or Rias. And then her name is Cecilia? I don't remember her name. Um, and then now, uh, yeah, these two at the bottom. I don't remember their names either. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, that's my entire room. Um, yeah, it's my entire room. Uh, I'll take one good look at it because uh, it's gonna be the last time uh, I, know, uh, I, I show you guys this room because uh, the reason why I wanted to make this particular video is because, um, let me sit down real quick. So the reason why I wanted to make this particular video is because uh, I plan on moving soon. Um, and you know, I, I realized I haven't, I haven't really shown off my figure collection in a while. This is not even my entire figure collection. Like I have boxes out in the living room that hasn't been opened yet. This is about, I wanna say, 60%, maybe 70% of my collection. Uh, and then the rest are all boxed up. Uh, Cause one, I realized I wasn't gonna have enough room for all of them. And then two, I mean, if I plan on moving out, you know, might as well just keep it all boxed up and, you know, have it ready at the new place. So. You know, it's it's uh it's you know it's a work in progress. You know, you know I I I, I do I do want to show you guys the new place whenever I plan on going there. So yeah, this is the reason one of the reasons why I'm showing you guys my room now one last time before I move out. You know, I kind of had like a general idea of what I wanted, but you know as time passed on and more responsibilities grow and you know life hits us. You know we're in a pandemic right now, so. You know, I can't, I don't really have time. I have to hustle for money, man. <laughs> These waifus aren't cheap, guys. <laughs> you know, it's, it is It is six years worth of, you know, building stuff. Six or no, I've been playing since 2012, so eight years since, uh, you know, since I've been building, or yeah, kind of building up this uh, this uh, collection. So, you know, it's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time, you know, so. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. You know, you can criticize me if you want for not remembering their names or, you know, call my room dirty and stuff. It is dirty. It's dusty as shit. I agree with you. I'm, I'm just particularly lazy because I'm lazy. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you think. Comments on uh, the video. Uh, you know, just let me know what you guys think. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. Um, so, yeah, that, that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thanks for watching if you've watched this long and uh, you know stay tuned for future updates. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This has been T Dino. Sayonara.